everybody welcome to the channel I'm doing a video here um, it's a little 15 horsepower uh, low profile Johnson um, the complaint from the owner was that it would start and run fine idle fine but when he put it in gear and try and go um, it raise up just a little bit and then go to go back to idle and um, it wouldn't go, it wouldn't throttle up. And so the reason why I decided to make a video on this is uh, it's something I see that's common in these low profile 9.9s and 15s uh, up till 1993, 94 when they changed it. Um, and so I'll show you the part that's broke and what we got to replace. Now I did take a couple of components off this engine you don't have to take off um, such as the starter and the actual spring-loaded cam that opens the butterfly on the on the carburetor so um, so that's what we're going to be doing on this video uh, I want to say a big welcome to the new subscribers and uh, so if you got one of these hopefully you'll find this useful like I said it is a common problem I see with these motors um, Here's part of the broken piece. I'll show you the, the other where it's located. So what happens on these little guys is right there. As you throttle up, put it in gear, and throttle up, this all spins. Well, that opens the butterfly mechanism that's hooked to this right here. Now, I took that off. You'll see it go back together. So as the cam comes, it opens the butterfly. Alright, so this piece is what commonly breaks and it always breaks in the same spot. Alright, which is right there. That goes like that. And the reason why it breaks right there is because there's a screw that goes right there where my thumb is. And people, when they run out of idle on the cam follower, they start opening that screw and snap, it breaks. So you've got to take the flywheel off, loosen these screws on the plate, So because this is pinched between the um, base plate and the mag plate. It, it's pinched. It's got a couple little nipples. I'll show you that. So here's the new piece, and there's the screw I'm talking about that people will adjust trying to get higher RPMs on their idle and it'll snap right there. It's always right there at that little thin spot that it snaps. Um, so anyway, I see it a lot. And there's a couple little nipples right there. You see those bosses right there that, that hold it in place um, as it's pinched in between the base plate and the mag plate. So. That's what holds it in place. There's a couple slots. You'll see them when I pull, pop this off. So let me get that off. So you just loosen those Phillips screws that go around the edges and not allow the base plate to drop down. tap that down, wiggle that puppy out of there. There's the two holes that this goes in. There's those nipples we were talking about. So, put the new one with the little nipples in, in the place where it goes there. Make sure, make sure those are in there or else you'll crack it. And there we go. And then we'll do the final tightening on those with a real screwdriver. Okay. 
And these just need to be snug. You don't need to rinse on them real hard. All right. So now, as the mag plate comes around, it's going to push the cam. And you'll see that here in a minute. The butterfly open. All right. So my camera's about to fall off. All right, so now um, I could put the starter on now, but I almost rather wait until I, um, oh man, this camera ain't looking good. There, that's good. Almost rather wait on the starter so you can see how how it goes on um, with the flywheel on. It is doable, it's much easier now, but most people aren't gonna take their flywheel off to uh... One thing I will go ahead and put on is this little cam guy. So you can see that. All right. So this is what opens your butterfly. It's got this little connector here. Okay. And of course I just dropped the bolt. <laughs> well, let me get my pinchers. I would reach in there with my magnet, but that bolt is stainless. You'll never get it. So you need to get you a set of them guys. They're very handy. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. All right, as you can see, this is shouldered, and then you've got a nice fat washer that goes on the other side, and that's so that it can be tight but still operate. So, uh, gotta have about ten hands to do this. And there's that side. There. Now put the bolt in. Try not to drop it again. And this fat washer goes on the inside. Hopefully I'm getting all this. And then that screws it. This way you can tighten it, but because it's shouldered, and this way this is, you'll be able to see how this whole Thing functions again just snug you're screwing into plastic there alright alright so now you can see the whole deal now that opens the butterfly nice and wide that's gonna work just good for you alright so let's get the flywheel back on like I said I normally would go ahead and put the starter on but I want to Show, to, show how to wrestle one of these starters in there. Line up your keyway. There's your key slot. I always go about a quarter off and then turn so I feel it. There it went. Alright. Okay. Okay. So there's that. Now, I'll tighten that flywheel down to spec here in a minute, but what I wanted to show was uh, how to wrestle one of these starters in. Um, something you want to do with these starters is if you see this tab, you can see that tab. Well, maybe you can't. All right. Right there's that tab. I like to put a mark there. Even with that tab right there. All right. That way, when you're fighting this starter into the place, this tab... I don't know if you can see that thing. 
yeah. All right, let me get you set up. Now I have it in there. I'm sorry I'm having so much camera trouble. Nothing's... Okay, I put my two marks. One there, and there's the tab mark. That tab goes in that hole. Then your bolt's going to go in there. And you can take that starter out, obviously, and gently lay it over there as long as you make sure you got your thumb pushing down on the top of the bolt that goes through everything. That way your spring don't go flying. And you can see this, the pull cords out of its shiv here. I'll pull that out slightly and get that back in before I go to put it back on. Also, you want to line this cut in the flywheel where you would manually start it if your starter was broke. You want to put it kind of above the bolt hole for the starter so that you have a little extra room to work there. Now we'll work that in there. All right. Make sure that the rope's where it's supposed to be. My mark is going out. The rope ain't where it's supposed to be. There. I think I got it. Sorry, I didn't mean to be shaking the camera there. So close. So close. All right, so as you can see, them things are a bear. Um, so starter's on, and now I got to put the rest of the carburetor back together. So that's the main gist of it there. Um, and those starters are are a bear. They're they're you have to <laughs> get the little tab I showed you that goes in the hole lined up then you got to get the bolt hole um, then you got to get 
the save you from yourself paw that won't let you start it if it's in gear and then you got to get the little spring behind so they're, they're a pickle um, but quite doable with the flywheel on um, much much easier if you take the flywheel off so I'm gonna get the rest of this is just a matter of putting the air silencer back on um, nothing interesting there as soon as I get that done and the flywheel torque to spec and everything we'll come back put her in the tank and see if that solved the issue I'll be right back Okay, so we got the uh, little 15. I uh, got out my torque wrench, torqued the uh, flywheel nut on that to 55 pounds. And uh, so if you have one of these and you're going to use that screw, excuse me, you're going to use the screw that comes on the end of this little plastic part. Um, beware because after this little I mean it's not that strong anyway it's just got a, a real thin spot right there that uh, is where it's gonna break at I mean it's a little over an eighth inch thick there so if you tighten that screw to, to any amount at all it's snap it's gonna snap and like I said $16 piece of plastic um, the part number is 0396740 and that's OMC OEM part number so um, you know for such a, a little piece um, you do have to pull quite a few things apart like I said you don't have to take it down like I did um, I just find it easier that way but you do have to remove um, the flywheel to get at it so let's give her a quick quick run here I'm gonna spin you around and there's the little booger Okay, so uh, that's a wrap on this one. That's all there is to it. Uh, like I said, uh, those starters on this particular model, <laughs> they're a little bit of a pickles to, to, to mess with. So, uh, but quite doable with the flywheel on, much easier with the flywheel off. Um, and so this one runs good now. And uh, so we'll get her out of here and get the next one in. And, Again, welcome to all the new subscribers and thanks everybody for watching. Do, 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 do.